Okay, now that we've finished row 17, it's time to start the shadow box, which is row rows number 18 and 19. So for row 18, we're going to chain two. Again, this is with the front side facing. We are going to, well, first of all, just for clarity, the chain two does not count as a stitch. I'm not counting that as a double crochet um, in this pattern. Okay, we're going to double crochet in the first four stitches. We're not going to skip any stitches here. First four, have one double crochet. That's two. Sorry about that. Three and four. Now here is where we begin the shadow box. We're going to prepare for a treble crochet. We're going to skip the next two stitches and we're going to treble crochet. That's working through both loops in the next two stitches. These are trebles. Okay, now working behind these two stitches, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to work a treble in each of the skipped stitches. Okay, so that's one there and one. You can see where I'm putting it right right next to it. Now we're going to prepare for another treble. We're going to skip the next two stitches and we're going to treble in the next two stitches. Just like so. Now working in front of these two stitches before we worked behind. Now we're working in front we're going to treble in the two stitches that we skipped. Do a treble crochet. Just like so. Let's take a look at this. So it should look like a big V here. Okay. Now we're going to double crochet in the next two stitches. That's one. and two. Now we're going to do that again. We're going to do that actually three times. We're going to skip two, treble crochet in the next two stitches. Now working behind these two, we're going to treble crochet in the two stitches right here. I'm going to flip it to the back so you can see where these go a little bit better. That's whoops, let's try that one again. And right next to it, you can see the stitch right there. Okay, now skip the next two stitches and treble crochet in the next two. Now we're going to work in front of these two stitches and we're going to treble crochet in the two skip stitches right here. Just like so. This is called the shadow box. Okay, and then we're going to double crochet in the next two stitches. Stop and see what we have here. Okay, and by the way, once you finish this row, you'll be halfway through the square. Let me go ahead and finish one more of these shadow boxes and then I'll show you the end of the row. Okay, now that we're at the end of the row, we are going to double crochet in the last three stitches. That's one, that's two, and three. Do not work in the turning chain. Okay, chain two, one, two, turn. Now we're going to work the next row, which is row number 18. I'm sorry, row number 19. We are going to double crochet in the first three 
stitches, which were the double crochets from the previous row. Okay. Now we're going to skip the next two stitches and we're going to treble in the next two. And this is with the back side facing. Now we're going to work behind these two and we're going to treble crochet in the two skipped stitches. I'm showing you from the back side. Okay, so it should kind of look like this from the side that you're facing, that's facing you right now. Now we're going to do this. We're going to skip the next two and we're going to treble in the next two stitches. Like so. Now working in the two stitches we just skipped and working in front of the last two stitches we just made, we're going to do two trebles, one treble in each of those stitches. Okay, now we're going to double crochet in the next two stitches. And this is what it should look like. Okay, it should look kind of like a like an X. Now if we flip it to the front side, it should look like a shadow box. Okay? So go ahead and do that two more times in this row. Now that we have three, looks like three X's on the back side, go ahead and we're going to do four double crochets to end the row. One, two, three, and four. So that is going to end the shadow box. Let me show you what it looks like with the front side facing. Okay, just like so. Okay, so the next two rows, okay, rows 20 and 21 are simply chain one and single crochet in each stitch across. So do this, what I'm going to show you here, I'm going to do this two times, two rows of just single crochet all the way across. I'm going to go ahead and do this, that's, that's rows 20 and 21 and then I'll give you some more instructions. Okay, now that I've, I've completed the two rows of single crochet going one direction in the back again, um, we will have the front side facing. I want you to take notice that um, these rows may seem a little out of proportion as compared to these other rows down here and I just want to say right away don't worry about that because what we're going to do with the remainder of the rows and the perimeter round will make that all even out. Okay, so don't don't get worried about your gauge or anything on that. Um, that is normal and, and this will take care of itself. Okay, let me give you some more instructions. We've just completed through rows 21. Now from from this point on, what we are going to do is we're going to go back to row two, which began with the low front ridge, and we're going to work rows two all the way through rows 17, which is the single crochet row that ends after um, as, as part of the low front ridge. Do not do a shadow box again. Okay, so just to, just to, to clarify further, um, from this point on, I'm not going to, I'm not going to give you more, um, instruction per video. What If you need more instruction on on repeating this section, simply go back to the beginning of this video because it is exactly the same. Starting with row two, which is the low front ridge rows, and then the two cable rows, two low front ridge rows. Then you're going to do single crochet, the neural stitch, um, the single crochet in the remaining loop, another single crochet row, um, low front ridge rows again, cable rows again, and then the two low front ridge rows. You can go ahead and complete all of that. You should have a square at the end of all of that, and I will show you how to do the perimeter round when we come back. Okay, after repeating, after repeating round, I'm sorry, rows 2 through 17, your square should look something like this. Okay. 
Um, pardon the color change there with the recording, but um, so there we are. Now, there's a very important step you must take right now. We have been using size K. We're going to dispense with that. And for the perimeter round, we are going to use the size J, which is one size smaller. If you're using a different size for your gauge hook, go ahead and just go down one size from whatever you're using right now. Okay, we're going to chain one, and we're going to turn. And we should have the front side facing us now. Okay, as we get ready to get started with our perimeter round, we should have the front side facing. Um, and we are going to work 35 stitches on each side, 35 single crochets on each side of this square. And there will be a chain two turning corner in each corner of the square. This is very, very important, especially when we start putting these, uh, crocheting these squares together. We want to make sure our numbers are lined up now perfectly so that when we go to put these together, it will not be an issue. All right, so we're going to go ahead by, again, uh, make sure you're using the smaller hook at this point. And we're going to work just one single crochet in each stitch across on this side, and that will give us 35 stitches. Okay, I worked 35 st stitches all the way across. I'm going to chain two, one, two, and I'm going to turn to work along this edge, which is a little trickier since um, it's not totally clear as to where to put each stitch. But let me let me give you a hint. Um, the center of this distance across is right here which is the middle of the um, shadow box stitch. So what you can do is shoot for the 18th stitch to go right here. That makes it a little little less difficult. Okay, I'm As we go across this row, as I mentioned, we, you may have to play with this a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and work approximately 18 stitches um, landing here, 18 to the center. Okay, I've worked approximately eight, well actually it's exactly 18 stitches to the center. Okay, the center being the 18th stitch. Now I'm going to just um, work the remainder um, of the 35 stitches to the other side. Just, again, just carefully spacing these. Let me give you just a, an eye a view of that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish this across and I'll show you the corner. Okay, I've worked all the way to the corner. There's 35 stitches spaced evenly. Okay, and I did work the last one in the beginning foundation chain. I'm going to chain two. Now I'm going to be working along the foundation chain. I'm going to work a single crochet in the same place as the last single crochet. So I have a nice little corner formed here. And I'm just simply going to work in the remainder, um, the two strands that were left over from the foundation chain. And just work all the way across. Make sure you have 35 stitches here as well. It would be easy to drop one, so you don't want don't to skip one. Okay. Okay, at the end of this row, if you want to verify that you have 35, go ahead and do that. We're going to chain two. We're going to turn. We're going to turn to work around the last, the last edge, and we're going to do it just like we did the other end of the row side, where you um, work 35 stitches all the way across. You can, you know, go to the section here, make this your 18th stitch, and it should come out fairly even. Go ahead and put your first single crochet in the same place where the last one was made um, before the chain two, and also this is our little strand. Um, from our foundation row. I'm going to go ahead and just crochet on top of that as I go across and that'll be one less strand at least that I'll need to worry about hiding when we get you know to completing this. Alright so I'm going to go ahead and work my 35 stitches across and then I will show you the connection at the end. Okay now that I've worked my 35 stitches evenly across the end rows I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to join with the slip stitch in the very first single crochet of the round. Okay, go ahead and, and fasten off. Okay, now that I've kind of done my sharp scissors, I'm going to cut, and I'm going to 
notice that I'm leaving kind of a kind of a long strand here. That's just to make it more helpful to weave in the ends so that we can um, thread the yarn needle successfully. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you show you the square. Okay, it's kind of hard to fit it within the viewer. Okay, so now the assignment is should you decide to accept it is to make 20 of these should you want to do a throw or if you want to just experiment with a pillow which I, I highly recommend you try that first um, make one more of these so you should have a total of two of these and then we will um, in the next video video number two I will show you how to um, crochet those together um, if you decide to do a pillow make sure that you purchase um, the amount, I'm guessing about a third of a yard, I'll make it, make it about half a yard of a, a cotton material or material that, that you like that matches the fabric of the yarn. Otherwise you're going to have a very bright white from the form pillow showing through these holes and it really is not, not, not a good thing. It's, it, it looks much better if you put some, uh, some material. Um, covering the form pillow and then we will crochet this around it. Okay, well I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next video. God bless. Bye-bye.